morning today is 5th of June it is uh, 7 30 in the morning and it's 18 degrees Celsius I'm going picking up an empty trailer now here in the yard in Steinbach taking that out to Dryden Ontario where I'll switch for a loaded one and that loaded one is going to Anderson South Carolina for Monday delivery so let's get it done Been into Dryden and switch trailers. I'm now on my way down to cross the border at International Falls. So, about an hour and a half away from there, oh, closer to two hours, I suppose. We're on this 502, which I've spoke about uh, a few times already. You get no phone signal down here. No signal even on the the Isaac tablet for you know for the communication system from work. Nothing. Satellite radio works, and anything I've downloaded works. I listen to a lot of pod podcasts and audio books on my phone, so I download them when I'm at home and listen to them when I'm out on the road. We'll get down there and cross the border. And uh, I'm thinking of going to Trego for tonight in Wisconsin. That would do me. And uh I haven't really worked out a plan, I'm not sure where that would that would put me for tomorrow night, but it doesn't matter. Looking at the distance I've still gotta go. If I do it that way, put a full day in tomorrow, that'll leave me probably about nine hours on Sunday to my delivery for seven o'clock Monday morning. So probably do something like that bit late getting out this week I was wanting to leave on Tuesday and as you know it's now Friday but it was a holiday in Canada on Monday so most of the Canadians were all home or a lot of them were all at home ready to leave on Tuesday but and it was a Independence Day in America on Thursday, yesterday. And still a lot of places are closed today in the States. So as a result of all that, there was very little leaving until today. So, been at home for five days. Which was good. It's not that I didn't enjoy it, but being at home for five days does not pay the bills. Here we are at five past one Saturday afternoon on I-294, coming around Chicago. Busy today, but apart from the, the uh, speed limits in the construction here, I haven't slowed down. So we're not doing too badly. I got down to the rest area in Auburn, Wisconsin last night with five minutes driving left. So today, well, 
we don't need to we don't need to put in a full day today but I want to get the other side of Indianapolis anyway so that's still two and a half three hours away but if I can get the other side of Indianapolis Continue on that, route. that puts me down in in the vicinity of my delivery tomorrow night ready for delivery first thing Monday So quick update on the damage to the truck caused by that tyre. I got the estimate done. Uh, the estimate for all the repairs is a little over $2,000. So we got that estimate into Cal Tire. Uh, Cal Tire confirmed that the warranty had been approved on the tyre itself. So by doing that, they've already admitted responsibility. So they hadn't agreed to pay the call-out charges. And they still hadn't agreed to pay for the damage. So that's still ongoing, but the tyre is covered under warranty. So we're getting there a little bit at a time. One step at a time in the right direction. All the truck stops and the roads are bit, well, apart from this road, but they've been fairly quiet. Would it been would it been Independence Day on Thursday? I think a lot of them, a lot of the, the truck drivers anyway, have been home and just decided to take Friday off because there's no point in leaving Friday if they can't deliver till Monday again. A bit like what happened to me, you know, no point in leaving. Wednesday or Thursday if I, I can't deliver until Monday so as a result I never left until Friday this week but I would imagine you know maybe even later on today and, and tomorrow it'll start to get busier again with trucks there's a few out here but it's nowhere near as busy as normal Last night I was the only truck parked there. I stopped for a shower. The truck stop itself, the parking was quite busy. But they've obviously been either, either, either locals that are parked there or they've been parked there since during the week because there's nobody around, there's nobody moving. I was able to go in and get a shower right away, there was nobody on the fuel pumps. All very, very quiet, very strange, unusual. Right, what's this guy up to? He's sitting here in the middle lane. Not even, trucks aren't supposed to use the two left lanes here. Oh well. Anyway guys, I'll make them back once we get closer to Indianapolis later on this afternoon.
morning, it's now Sunday morning, the 7th of July and it's half past six in the morning local time. Just come in daylight. It is 20 degrees Celsius and I am 750 kilometers from my delivery. So we're going to stop somewhere on the way down for a shower and there's somewhere I can park it's only about 15 mile away so we're going to go and park there for the night it's only a rest area so I need to grab some stuff on the way down get, get some supplies and we'll just get down there for well Three, three o'clock I suppose and that'll leave me the 15 mile in the morning to my delivery actually very warm wet when I parked up last night it was still about 28 degrees so I did have to idle for a bit but I woke up it wasn't too late either, it was only about 11 o'clock and was able to shut the engine off. We got a good night's sleep after that. So that wasn't too bad at all. I'd imagine the further south we go, the warmer it's going to be at night. So we may have to idle all night again tonight. I don't know what my reload is yet. I'm hoping to find out today because delivering at 7 in the morning local time, that's 6 o'clock central time where the office is. So even, even by the time I'm delivered there still won't be any in the office on Southern Dispatch. So I hope to find out today. But looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So here we are at my delivery. It's 5 to 8 local time. I got here at 20 to 7 and I've only just got on the dock. The place doesn't open till 7. And then even once you're inside it's an absolute nightmare. I was given a dock to go and back on, but here we sit, a couple of other trucks turned up since then, there's trucks just driving around, this one coming towards me now, he went the other way just two minutes ago, now he's coming back this way, so he's obviously no idea where he needs to be, there's one just to my right, blocking the whole road up, he obviously needs to be on one of these docks. So really not sure what's going on here. At least I'm on the dock. But we'll see how long it takes to unload. Because they haven't even started yet. Although I've got the red light and they've got the ramp in the back. That's as far as we've got. Forty nine local time and that's me out there at last. It wasn't too bad in the end, but some of those guys, it was a queue of maybe about nine or ten trucks all waiting to unload and they're only unloading one at a time. Some of them are going to be there till after lunch time. So I guess it was a good time to show up. And a lot of them were there before me, but stayed there overnight. So when they wake up in the morning, people were already queuing up in front of the gate and they couldn't get out. So the ones that had stayed there overnight were actually at the back of the queue. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Some you win, some you lose. So I had to get another tyre changed last night on the trailer. I uh, 
packed up, done my walk around checks, and uh, had another tyre that needed changing. Seems to be fairly regular lately. So they came out about half past six last night, changed it in the pouring rain. So we're going to go to the Loves at Commerce, Georgia. So I need to get a retark on that wheel and I need to get a shower. So we're going to go to that Loves, we'll get the retark first, then we'll park up and we'll get a shower. <coughs> and then we'll head over for our reload. I think it's going to be Thursday morning before I get back home. Looking at the miles and what I've still got to do. But going okay so far. Nice lake, some nice houses around this lake. Lovely. Okay, we're going to crack on. We're all loaded up now and headed home. Back on the Atlanta Ring Road, which going in this direction isn't too bad right now. A lot better than the, the other side is anyway. So. I want to get round Atlanta as soon as I can because it is 10 past 4 local time here. So I'm not, not quite sure what I'm going to do tonight now. Um, I was wanting to try and get to Manchester, Tennessee. Then I could leave there early in the morning and get round Nashville before the traffic. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm expecting to get delayed heading north out of Atlanta on 75. Even if I don't get delayed on the on the ring road here. But expecting to get delayed and expecting to get delayed at Chattanooga if I go that far. So I might just call it a day at Reseca in Georgia. Call it a day there and get away from there early in the morning, get round Chattanooga. Then by the time I get up to Nashville, that, that's giving Nashville a chance to clear up. It'll be after rush hour by the time I get up there. So that's what I'm thinking because whatever I do, I'm not getting home till Thursday anyway. So there's no point in pushing on too far tonight and losing driving time. So, yeah, up to Reseca, I think. I'll let you know tomorrow. So, Tuesday morning, and I'm now up at Oak Grove, Kentucky. And I'm just pulling into the rest area here to meet Director Neil into the rest area, into the Love's truck stop. Director Neil's in here. He, he loaded in Alabama yesterday and I loaded in Georgia. So the way he came up, he, he comes up to Nashville and I was coming up from Atlanta to Nashville. So he was only half an hour in front of me, so he's pulled in here. And then we're going to run back together for the next two days. I got to Reseca last night. I decided not to go any further because it, the traffic would 
traffic getting through Chattanooga would have been too much. So arriving at destination on right. I just stayed in Reseca. So I'm going to get a shower while I'm here. Don't see where he's parked. See if we can see him now. Yeah, he's down the bottom here. I can just see the stripe on the trailer. Not sure there's a space next to him, no. No, there's no space next to him, but what we'll do is we'll turn around and we'll go in that corner. somebody will come along and block me in so we'll just go in the, the angled parking over there right in front of me if he's watching he's going to be laughing his head off now <laughs> yeah. he's probably gone for his shower already there's nobody in the cab So, that'll do us for now. Not sure where we're going to end up tonight. Haven't been able to plan that far ahead yet. But, let's have a shower first. And decide that later. That's Fatty just going for a walk there. He's actually walking around the truck stop. Pretending that he's keeping fit. All he's doing is working some of it off so he can fill himself again after and still smoke 40 a day. I'll be back later. We're just coming up to Effingham, Illinois, and Director Neil is just ahead of me there. Although you probably won't see him at all. We've had this rain since we left the truck stop back at Oak Grove, Kentucky. Virtually non stop, it's actually been worse than this at times. 
So not the best of day for travelling in. We're going up to normal Illinois where we're going to get fuel and possibly stay there the night. We're only about 2 hours 20 minutes away and we'll possibly stay there the night. See how much time we've got left. I've only got 2 hours 53 left right now so might not have enough time to get anywhere else from there. But this weather's been horrendous. I think this is just the, the tail end of Hurricane whatever it was. Hurricane Berta or something, I don't know. But this is the tail end of it all. Luckily we haven't had the wind to go with it, just the heavy rain. But it's been relentless. Good morning, 20 past 9 on Wednesday morning and I'm just coming past Toma, Wisconsin. On target to be home, uh, well before lunchtime tomorrow I would hope. Probably get as far as Rothsay tonight. And that just leaves a little over four hours to Winnipeg in the morning. And probably switch trailers there and take a loaded one back to Steinbach if there is a loaded one, if not Bobtail back. So, hoping to be done for lunchtime. Well, hoping to be done and in the house for lunch. So, a good trip. Be around. Be around 3,600 miles by the time I get back home. So I'll leave on Friday, home Thursday morning, 3,600 miles, not bad, good going. Going to try and get the truck serviced, which reminds me I need to phone the shop again. I did call them on earlier in the week to get it booked in, but I haven't heard anything back, so I will give them a call again. See if it's booked in. It's almost due a service. I've got a bit to spare yet, but I like to get it done early. So, Director Neil, because he's so fit and healthy, has trouble sleeping at night. <laughs> so, he was up and gone when I even got up this morning. But he's only going to get as far as I do tonight, so he'll still be there. But it's turning out to be a nice day. So I was saying this morning that it looks like it was going to be a nice day. Well, I had some rain earlier, but look how black it is up ahead. That's not looking good at all. The wind's got up as well, so... Definitely running into some bad weather. So that's us across the border. And just coming into the scale here. The scale's open this morning, coming northbound. It usually is. It's no it's big surprise. Left. And director, director Neil is just a couple of trucks ahead of me. He, he got ahead of me just there at the border. And crossed the border just before me. So there he is, just over there. He's just been across the scale and just coming back out. So there he is there. So, we'll see now what the weights are, well, 
I know I'm good for the move weights, but you might be able to see it on the display up ahead there. There we are, and we've got the depart light. So that's it, straight up to Winnipeg now. So I switched trailers in Winnipeg, you know, on the way back to Steinbach now, but I managed to pick up a passenger. Unfortunately, he's got no transport back home. He's messed up his truck again. I haven't messed up the truck, it's having preventative maintenance, unlike his. And it's had a wash. Well, mine doesn't need preventative maintenance. It's in often enough for stuff that's already <laughs> gone wrong. So not a bad trip. Left on Friday, back home Thursday, and it'll be 5,700 kilometers. So about 3,600 miles, I think. He never went to Florida like me, though. No, I didn't go to Florida, and he actually went 30 kilometers or 30 miles further than me. So, it's like <laughs> but I'm going to end the video here now because I'm all like swearing a minute. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been more than 10 seconds, so I'm surprised that hasn't happened already. But as always, thanks for joining me. Take care, thanks stay for safe, me. and I'll see Good you on the next me. one. Good night from him. Good night. Good night. <laughs>